To start us off today, I'm just artfully placing my Market Authority planner here that I have not talked about on this channel. But if you didn't know, I have recently, quite a while ago, <laughs> launched the Market Authority planner. All the details to check that out, out are below. But if you haven't made its acquaintance, here it is. So in the Market Authority Academy this week, we had a great coaching call. It was our Thursday coaching call when we have kind of a live Q&A, kind of anything goes. And one of the members on the call kind of shouted out our success coach, Karen Ann. If you haven't met Karen Ann Campbell, she is absolutely amazing. She's a producing real estate agent out of Georgia. And she has been one of my coaching clients for years and years and years. And so when it was time for me to bring on a little extra support for the Market Authority Academy, she was a natural fit. Anyways, Karen Ann has a really great strategy on Instagram. When you see her Instagram, it looks refined, it looks polished, it looks inviting. And one of the members on this coaching call kind of called her out for it and said, Karen Ann, what is your secret? What have you been doing on Instagram? Because you have leveled up in a big way and I wanna know how you did it. So Karen Ann, if you're in the Market Authority Academy, Karen Ann is actually going to be sharing all of her secrets and opening up her whole playbook and helping members of the Market Authority Academy really refresh their content strategy in the next couple of weeks. So if you're in MAA, all of that is going to be revealed for you soon. But she gave me permission to share a few of the tips that really helped her rev up her Instagram for real estate and I wanted to share them with you here. So the first thing that Karen Ann did was really dial in her ideal client. Karen Ann has shifted or pivoted her business from one ideal client to another over the last several months. She's really identified who it is she truly wants to be working with, and she has changed her content strategy to be more in line to attracting those individuals. And so that would be our first tip for you. Now, we have our own process in the Market Authority Academy to do this, which we call the brand builder. So really going through and building a magnetic brand. But you can do this just by analyzing your content and deciding whether or not this is right now in alignment with who it is you want to be working with. For example, if you're kind of burnt out on first time home buyers and you're just not creating as much traction for those individuals in your area and you want to maybe pivot to a more listing based business, that would be your first key to analyze the content that you have been posting and start making some changes to that content strategy to make sure that what you are posting is speaking to that new group of people that you want to be bringing in. Number two, she then refreshed her visual brand. So Karen Ann went on to Pinterest and searched brand and palettes. While she had a pretty solid aesthetic and Karen Ann's always had a really great eye for the visual aspect of her brand, she wanted to kind of refresh it and refine it just a little bit. And so she went on to Pinterest and searched brand palette colors and brand font packages. And that way she then took those items, put them into Canva and saved them in her brand kit on Canva, which if you haven't done that, there are some really great tutorials on Canva in order to teach you how to do that. Just check it out there. But that way, anytime she was posting any new graphics or putting together new templates for her stories or her Instagram Reels covers, everything was going to be very cohesive and refined as far as aesthetics go. I thought that this was a really good idea because you don't have to make a huge shift in your color palette to kind of refresh your brand. So for example, I've always had kind of the same brand palette since 2018, but since then I have made a few refinements on colors just to kind of keep it fresh. And this is a really easy way just to give yourself maybe some new seasonal colors or maybe continue to refine the fonts that you're using so that you're not using a different font on every graphic that you complete. Karen Ann then revisited her systems. Now we are all about the systems in the Market Authority Academy because they help you do things consistently and do them really well. She was able to enlist some help from her husband to help make sure that she was executing on the plan that she put together for them. And they determined her post schedule, how often she was going to be posting, and they decided together what would happen if things had to change on the fly. For example, she explained that she had a really great idea on what she wanted to post for the 4th of July, but something came up and she wasn't able to go with idea number one, but because she had had her system in place and she had planned a bunch of content in advance as a part of that system, she was able to quickly swap out what she was going to post that day with something else that she had already kind of put together as an alternative. This way she was able to maintain her posting frequency even while making tiny pivots throughout the day. And in that way, I love that she wasn't really focusing so much on perfection, but instead making sure that she got it done because she had committed to doing it. Speaking of systems, 
the systems that you have in your content strategy are only one piece of the puzzle to a scalable, growing real estate business that can withstand any market. So if you have some time, I actually have a live training that's going to talk about the three systems you need to earn your next $100,000 in real estate. That is coming up next week. All the details to save your seat to that live training are below. Finally, Karen Ann is really great at stocking up on awesome images. So Karen Ann in a previous life was a photographer. She has a photography background and I know she has some great connections with other photographers in her area. And over the years, she has always made it a point to go and take some branded photos for her business. And now she has so many kind of built up as like a library of stock images for herself. She can kind of use those and sprinkle them in through her content strategy and continue to recycle them. And it's not really evident when you look at her feed. Everything still looks very relevant, very fresh. And in fact, she has so much built up that even though all of her content looks brand new and sparkly and fun, she hasn't actually taken any new images this year, which I thought was crazy. But if you have not been doing this yet, you can still start now. So take some time to plan out a day where you can go out and get some branded photos done. Especially if you're a little slower right now in your real estate business, this is the perfect time to be investing a little bit of time and energy in making sure that these things that are within your control are getting done. So maybe hire a photographer or enlist a helpful friend and go and get some really great pictures that you can kind of have as a library for your Instagram content. Check out Karen Ann's Instagram here. And while it does look so amazing and so polished, I mean, really shout out to Karen Ann. She's such a master at all the things that she does and especially here. Just know that she has refined and iterated this process for a couple of years now. So if you're just starting out and you're looking at this like, man, I have no idea how to accomplish something like that. Don't worry, just start small and start building it up. But let's recap those steps. Number one, you're going to refine your ideal client. So figure out who your ideal clients are. Most agents are going to have more than one ideal client, but figure out where they are in this cycle of home ownership, in this market, what challenges and desires they have, and make sure that the content you're creating is relevant to them. Number two, do a little refresh of your visual brand. Check it out on Pinterest, look at some new colors and font packages, and make sure that everything is looking pretty cohesive if you're creating any templates on Canva. Then refine your systems. Look at the processes that you have in place and make sure that you have everything you need to post consistently on the frequency that you've determined is right for you. And then finally, check your stock images. Make sure you have some really great brand photos of yourself with your face in them. And if you don't, that is your cue to go ahead and schedule a little photo shoot coming up. So try those four steps to rev up your Instagram strategy today. And don't forget to save your seat for the live training that I have coming up next week. All the details to save your seat for that training are below and it is open to all agents. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Till next time, keep on crushing it.